A lot of solar mining videos make big claims, but the amount of PV, inverter, and battery they have just can't sustain their claim. Full-blown mining equipment needs a lot of power. You might be able to run some hobbyist gear on a few panels, but for anything more, you need serious power. These four S19s each pull about three kilowatts when running. I throttle them down a little to keep under the inverter limit of 11.4 kilowatts. They run roughly one third of the day and they're fully automated. They'll ramp up or down depending on sunlight and battery state of charge. On a good day, they make about a dollar a day per miner, around $4 total. That can range from $1.50 on a perfect day all the way down to pennies. It's all up to mother nature. That's what real 100% solar mining looks like. Is that worth it, you ask? Well, maybe. We'll get into it, but first, a cautionary tale. About a year ago, the Bitmain KS5 Pro Caspa miner hit the market, generating headlines like the most profitable miner on earth. The first ones out were making $100 a day. People were paying $12,000 per unit in mid-24. Some even paid over $30,000 just months before that. But soon profitability started to drastically drop. Now those same miners are selling for about a thousand bucks. And Caspa's coin price has dropped from its all-time high of 21 cents to about eight cents. Check out the hobbyist miner as he sees the machine he paid $12,000 for several months before is now worth $6,000. That's the risk when you jump into new gear chasing hype coins. Even if the hardware runs perfectly, the coin's value can tank before you ever reach ROI. And that's why I buy older gen gear. These S19s cost me $200 each last year. They're tough, reliable, and they've already paid for themselves. When your power is virtually free, efficiency isn't everything. Reliability and low cost per terahash matter a lot more. You can see here that if you were to run this miner for 24 hours on grid power at 10 cents a kilowatt hour, you'd be losing $3.20. That's why they're cheap. You need free power to run them. The next step up would be the Antminer S21. At 200 terahash per second, that's double the hash rate of my S19s. The price is 2,900. It's double the hash rate, but how many S19s can I buy for 2,900? And what's the hash rate? That would be nine S19s, and the hash rate would be 855 terahash a second. As long as I can get cheap panels, I'm way ahead. I'll let you in on how I source brand new panels at below used price in another video. And that's also why I only mine Bitcoin. Everything else is just too volatile. Tokens can spike and crash overnight. And none have stood the test of time like Bitcoin. Bitcoin has 15 years of history and real liquidity. There's even a Bitcoin satellite. I don't care about chasing the next 10X. I wanna stack something with a proven track record. And here's the key for me, appreciation of the asset. The coins I mined at $4 a day when I started solar mining have doubled in value. You can also think of it like a giant battery, but the thing with this battery is it gains power by sitting idle. The energy I stored a year ago now has double the value. The lesson here is don't chase efficiency, chase free power. This system runs fully automated. When the sun comes up, the SOC climbs over the program set point and wakes the miners up. Each has its own start set point and they're all staggered out, as you can see in the graph. Each step up in the morning is a miner coming online. When a cloud blocks the sun, the SOC starts to fall. If it falls too low, the miners start to idle one at a time. When the sun comes back, the program starts the miners back up one at a time. In the evening, as the batteries drop towards cutoff, it puts the miners at idle for the night. I could also set the inverter to do a low battery shutdown if I want the miners to power down for the night. But that could cause condensation on the miners under the right conditions. Like I said, this is a proof of concept, but at this point, it's proven out and totally scalable. Four miners per inverter, or even better, 12 miners on a Solus 30K. I don't have pricing yet, but it should be lower than three 11.4s. Even at a dollar a day per miner, it's all profit because they're paid off and the energy cost is zero. A lot of people lose money chasing the latest gear or speculative coins, but if your power is renewable, your equipment's paid for, and your setup's stable, every Satoshi that you mine is profit, even in a bear market. This is what mining on 100% solar actually looks like. No hype, no secret formula, just good engineering, and a lot of patience.
Solar mining can be very profitable. It all comes down to your infrastructure cost. If you buy everything at retail and hire out the installation, it's going to take a very long time to see any profit. Let's do a quick what if. Let's say you wanted to build out a one megawatt off-grid mining farm. What would that look like and what's the profit look like? We're going to use 11.4 kilowatt inverters in this example because that's what we have pricing on. And the pricing I'm using is inflated because it's retail, not wholesale. So keep that in mind. Let's go over the CapEx first. And we'll go through it line by line here. First up, we've got the PV array and we're looking at 1,000 kilowatts DC. We're using a, a mid-tier price. It's not going to be the most expensive. It's not the cheapest. And this is 50 cents per watt. Now, this 50 cents per watt is an all-in price. That includes the PV, the racking, posts, wiring, trenching, fence, labor, pretty much everything you need to get the solar installed. Next up, we've got the Solus S6. 11.4 kilowatt inverters and like I said this the, the price the 2300 that's a retail price so you know obviously if you're going to buy 89 of these things you're going to get a very good wholesale price and that came out came in at 204,000 and we're we're using LG prime batteries since that's the cheapest commercially available battery that that we can get a high voltage in right now for 89 of those that comes out to 240,000 then for the S19 J plus miners we're going to need 330 of those at $300 a piece and again if you're buying 330 you're going to get a lot better price than 300 that came in at uh just under 100,000 then we've got controls, PDUs, networking, enclosures, etc. Got about fifty thousand in there. So total before the contingency is one hundred and ninety-four thousand. Then I threw a ten percent contingency contingency in there for anything that might be missing out of out of the list. The total approximately is going to be one million two hundred three thousand dollars. Let's take a look at the uh, revenue and payback. This is going to be at a $52 hash price. Nameplate hash rate for 330 S19s at 95 terahash. We're looking at 31.35 petahash per second. Now, if you were to run these for 24 hours continuously, your gross revenue would be approximately 1,630 USD per day. Since we're only running in eight hour shifts, Divide that by three to come up with about $543 per day. So that gives us an annual revenue of $198,300 per year. I've got an OPEX placeholder in there for miscellaneous things, uh, 75000 That That would include possibly two part-time guys to take care of the system. Anything like, like taxes, insurance, you know, any ongoing kind of things there. 75000 should take care of that. So we've got a net before tax of 123000 per year. That gives us a simple payback of approximately just under 10 years. Just to give you an idea of how hash price affects the gross, when I ran this exercise a few months ago, hash price was $57. And the one-year gross was 215000 instead of the, uh, right now we're at 198000 and again, don't forget about the appreciation aspect if things go well. That 198000 could very well double or not, <laughs> you know, but we've got a pretty good track record so far. But obviously, as with any, anything like this, there, there's a downside risk as well. That's about it for this one. Hope you got something out of it. And if you're looking to buy some solar equipment and you'd like to support the channel, I have a signature solar link and coupon code in the description. It's an affiliate link, and I may get a small commission if you buy something, but it doesn't cost you any more. As always, put something in the comments and give it a like. I appreciate you. Have a good one. Adios.